Automotive enthusiasts have been retrofitting projectors into their stack halogen lights for over two decades. Until recently, a way of getting projectors was not readily available, and units had to be taken out of cars that already had them in them. The retrofit source in 2005 began selling aftermarket products that made retrofitting available to the everyday person, and light output drastically improved over halogen counterparts. This video will show you how to retrofit a projector from the retrofit source into your 2015 Yamaha FZ07. Start off by parking your bike, preferably on a paddock stand, but if you don't have one, the kickstand will work too, and remove the seats and all the paneling. All of these panels can be removed with the Allen keys located behind the rear seat on the motorcycle. After you remove the center plastic, you can access the last remaining screws. Once you unscrew and loosen all of these, a helpful way to keep things organized is to have a separate container to each side of the motorcycle screws in. Once you have done this, you can put these screws off to the side because they won't be needed for a long time. Now with the screws off the motorcycle, you can carefully take off each side panel and put it off to the side. Next you must take off the headlight unit on the motorcycle. Start off by removing a windshield that you might have on the motorcycle. Next remove all of the screws in the front of the housing. Next remove the side screws that hold the headlight into place. Keep these screws separate from the body screws in a separate container. This will make reinstallation easier so you won't be fumbling through screws later on. Now you are ready to remove the headlight. First expose the turn signal connectors and detach them. Next, disconnect the parking light and the H4 bulb. Now you're ready to start your retrofit. After you take your headlight inside, you can begin by cleaning the outside of the lens for any dirt or debris. Next, you start removing the side fins that hold the turn signals on. There's one screw on each side that you must remove in order to take them off. Once those are removed, you can start removing the parking light. There is one screw that holds on the wire and one clip tab. Now you must take the rubber boot off that keeps the headlight unit waterproof. Now you can remove the H4 bulb by taking it out of its retainer clip. Now you must take off the retainer clip as you will not need it anymore. Now you must line a baking sheet with tin foil so it will not burn the headlight when you bake it. Place the headlight on and clean the lens one more time to make sure you're not going to be burning any dirt onto the lens. Set the oven for 220 degrees. Put the headlight in the oven. Now wait 10 minutes. You can now remove the headlight and bring it to your workspace. Immediately start prying the headlight open. There are clips that will make it extremely difficult to get the headlight open. If you break some of these tabs off, that's okay. The new resealing butyl will do a good job of keeping the headlight together, even though the tabs aren't there. With the headlight apart, now you must grind down those two knobs to make sure the projector fits. Using a Dremel tool works best at this.
You can use the H4 adapter ring that came with the projector as a guide to what you need to grind down. Keep grinding until you reach the desired size of the tabs, periodically checking with the H4 adapter ring for reference. Once you have done that, you can now disassemble your projector and test fit it. Place the projector on its lens on a soft surface so you do not scratch it, and put the reflector bowl on top of it. Use the supplied hardware to secure it down so you can see what it will look like and what adjustments you might need to make. Now take the shroud and see where you need to cut. There needs to be a big notch cut out for the bottom parking light, as you can see here. Using a Dremel tool works a lot more effectively than with the saw method, but the saw method works as well. This is what the shroud will look like after you trim it. The back will need to be ground down a bit because the reflector bowl might get in the way. Next take the adjusters off your headlight reflector bowl. This will make it easier to paint. Make sure to keep these in an area where you know which one goes where and where they are. Now if you're painting your reflector or your shroud, use oven cleaner as the one shown by liberally applying coats like this and letting them sit, reapplying as necessary until all the chrome is off. If you're not painting, you don't need to worry about this step. While the shroud and the reflector are getting the coats taken off, you can now move to the bike itself. Start by unscrewing the battery terminals. Next you must wire the relay through the bike with your desired way of doing it. I chose to go from where the ABS unit normally sits in the European model and wire the wiring away from there. I started up there and worked my way down the body, snaking it through different connectors and different brackets. You can snake it through the frame any way you desire. This is just the way I found easiest. Now tying up any loose ends on either of the terminals is a good idea. Secure the loops with a twist tie or a zip tie and tuck them away. Now you can reassemble your battery terminal with these pigtails installed. If you're running angel eyes or demon eyes, the auxiliary port on the side of the bike is a good place to connect them, although it is not necessary to do it here. As you can see, the auxiliary port does not fit in the stock connector they give you, so one will have to be made. You can either attach them this way with electrical tape or do the preferred method by taking the female end of the OEM connector and shoving the pigtails through there by grinding them down so they will fit. Use the heat shrink to seal off the connection points. Now you can insert the ballast and relay and secure them with double-sided Velcro in the ABS box. These two units fit perfectly in this spot. Make sure that the connection points of the ballast are facing outward so you can access them easily. You'll have to cut the double-sided Velcro to fit to the relay. Now you can paint your headlight reflector and shroud. Once painted, you need to cut notches and grind down other things shown here. 
that whole ring may need to be ground down to make room for the adapter plates. A notch also must be cut into the headlight reflector to make room for the demon eyes. Now that you've done this, you can now assemble the projector. Feed the wires through the notch that you had cut. Now you can take the adapter plate, which may or may not be necessary depending on if you can fit it or not, and start to secure the projector in place. The lock ring nut, however, is necessary. Screw it down to hand tightness. Next, clean the bulb with an alcohol pad that was provided. Insert the bulb carefully into the projector. And secure it with the bulb retainer ring. Once this is done, bring it outside to do a test alignment. Mount the headlight back on the motorcycle as if you were finishing the project. Turn on the bike and make sure that the projector is aligned properly and the beam pattern is level, and make adjustments if necessary. If everything checks out, you're now ready to put the shroud on and add JB steel stick to the locking retainer ring. Apply these to each end, as shown here. Make sure that these do not get in the way of the ball retainer ring. Allow these to dry. Now you must modify the rubber seal. Cut out a hole, as shown here, to make room for the igniter and the new bulb. A notch also must be cut into the bottom to make room for the wires. Now you're ready to use the butyl glue to reseal the headlight. Pull off about 7 inches of it and stretch it to fit along the edge. Make sure you don't put too much in here. The butyl should be touching either end of the lip, but should not be overfilling it. Seal the headlight completely so that there are no gaps. Make sure everything is pushed down and none of it is sticking up. Now you're ready to bake your headlight again. Put the lens over the top of the headlight. Set your oven to 220 degrees. And place the headlight inside. Set your timer for 10 minutes. And then take the headlight out. And back over to your workstation. Push down on the headlight so that the new glue seals the headlight properly and hold the headlight in place pushed down until it does not move anymore. After you have finished putting the lens on, 
Reassemble the fins and all other parts of the headlight that were taken off previous by reversing the steps done before. Then you can reassemble your headlight back onto your motorcycle. The last step is to make a bracket that attaches to these two points and pushes the cradle out forward a set distance. That distance will vary based on each setup. Now you can enjoy your newfound light and light up the night with your projector retrofit on your Yamaha FZ07.